What is adalimumab? And what is adalimumab injection used for? Adalimumab injection products are used alone or with other medications to relieve the symptoms of certain autoimmune disorders, conditions in which the immune system attacks healthy parts of the body and causes pain, swelling, and damage, including the following. Rheumatoid arthritis, a condition in which the body attacks its own joints, causing pain, swelling, and loss of function, in adults. Juvenile idiopathic arthritis, GIA, a condition that affects children in which the body attacks its own joints, causing pain, swelling, loss of function, and delays in growth and development, in children two years of age and older. Crohn's disease, a condition in which the body attacks the lining of the digestive tract, causing pain, diarrhea, weight loss, and fever, that has not improved when treated with other medications in adults and children six years of age and older. Ulcerative colitis, a condition which causes swelling and sores in the lining of the colon, large intestine, and rectum, when other medications and treatments did not help or could not be tolerated in adults and children five years of age and older. Ankylosing spondylitis, a condition in which the body attacks the joints of the spine and other areas causing pain and joint damage, in adults. Psoriatic arthritis, a condition that causes joint pain and swelling and scales on the skin, in adults. Hydrodenitis superativa, a skin disease that causes pimple-like bumps in the armpits, groin, and anal area, in adults and children 12 years of age and older. Uveitis, swelling and inflammation of different areas of the eye, in adults and children 2 years of age and older. Chronic plaque psoriasis, a skin disease in which red, scaly patches form on some areas of the body, in adults. Adalimumab injection products are in a class of medications called tumor necrosis factor, TNF, inhibitors. They work by blocking the action of TNF, a substance in the body that causes inflammation. How to use adalimumab injection? Adalimumab injection products come as a solution, liquid, to inject subcutaneously, under the skin. Your doctor will tell you how often to use adalimumab products based on your condition and age. To help you remember to inject adalimumab injection products, mark the days you are scheduled to inject the drug on your calendar. Follow the directions on your prescription label carefully, and ask your doctor or pharmacist to explain any part you do not understand. Use adalimumab injection exactly as directed. Do not use more or less of it or use it more often than prescribed by your doctor. You will receive your first dose of adalimumab injection products in your doctor's office. After that, you can inject adalimumab injection products yourself or have a friend or relative perform the injections. Before you use adalimumab injection products yourself the first time, read the written instructions that come with it. Ask your doctor or pharmacist to show you or the person who will be injecting the medication how to inject it. Adalimumab injection products come in pre-filled syringes, pre-filled dosing pens and pre-filled auto-injectors. Use each syringe, pen, or auto-injector only once and inject all the solution in the syringe, pen, or auto-injector. Even if there is still some solution left in the syringe, pen, or auto-injector after you inject, do not inject again. Dispose of used syringes, pens, and auto-injectors in a puncture-resistant container. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist about how to dispose of the puncture-resistant container. If you are using a pre-filled syringe or a dosing pen that has been refrigerated, place the syringe or pen on a flat surface without removing the needle cap and allow it warm to room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes before you are ready to inject the medication. Do not try to warm the medication by heating it in a microwave, placing it in hot water, or through any other method. You can inject adalimumab injection anywhere on the front of your thighs or stomach except your navel and the area 2 inches, 5 centimeters, around it. To reduce the chances of soreness or redness, use a different site for each injection. Give each injection at least 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, away from a spot that you have already used. Keep a list of the places where you have given injections so that you will not inject in these places again. 
Do not inject into an area where the skin is tender, bruised, red, or hard or where you have scars or stretch marks. Always look at adalimumab injection solution before injecting it. Check that the expiration date has not passed and that the syringe, dosing pen, or auto-injector contains the correct amount of liquid. Check with the written instructions for use to find out what your adalimumab injection product solution should look like. Do not use a syringe, dosing pen, or auto-injector if it is expired, if it does not contain the correct amount of liquid, or if the liquid does not look like it is described in the written instructions for use. Adalimumab injection products may help control your condition but will not cure it. Continue to use adalimumab injection products even if you feel well. Do not stop using adalimumab injection products without talking to your doctor. When to use adalimumab injection? Before using adalimumab injection products. Tell your doctor and pharmacist if you are allergic to adalimumab, any other medications, or any of the ingredients in adalimumab injection products. If you will be using the pre-filled syringe, also tell your doctor if you or the person who will be helping you inject adalimumab injection are allergic to latex or rubber. Tell your doctor and pharmacist what prescription and non-prescription medications, vitamins, nutritional supplements, and herbal products you are taking or plan to take while you are using adalimumab injection. Your doctor may need to change the doses of your medications or monitor you carefully for side effects. Tell your doctor if you have or have ever had numbness or tingling in any part of your body, any disease that affects your nervous system, such as multiple sclerosis, a disease in which the nerves do not function properly causing weakness, numbness, loss of muscle coordination and problems with vision, speech, and bladder control, Guillain-Barre syndrome, weakness, tingling and possible paralysis due to sudden nerve damage, or optic neuritis, inflammation of the nerve that sends messages from the eye to the brain, any type of cancer, diabetes, heart failure, or heart disease. If you have psoriasis, tell your doctor if you have been treated with light therapy. Tell your doctor if you are pregnant, plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding if you become pregnant while using adalimumab injection products, call your doctor. If you are having surgery, including dental surgery, tell the doctor or dentist that you are using adalimumab injection products. Do not have any vaccinations without talking to your doctor. If your child will be receiving adalimumab injection products, be sure that your child has received all the shots that are required for children of his or her age before he or she begins treatment with adalimumab injection products. Dot. What should I do if I forget a dose? Inject the missed dose as soon as you remember it. Then inject the next dose on your regularly scheduled day. However, if it is almost time for the next dose, skip the missed dose and continue your regular dosing schedule. Do not use a double dose to make up for a missed one. What side effects can adalimumab injection cause? Adalimumab injection products may cause side effects. Tell your doctor if any of these symptoms are severe or do not go away. Redness, itching, bruising, pain, or swelling in the place you injected. Nausea. Headache. Back pain. Some side effects can be serious. If you experience any of the following symptoms, call your doctor immediately or get emergency care. Numbness or tingling. Problems with vision. Weakness in legs. Chest pain. Shortness of breath. Rash, especially a rash on the cheeks or arms that is sensitive to sunlight. New joint pain. Hives. Itching. Swelling of the face, feet, ankles, or lower legs. Difficulty breathing or swallowing. Fever, sore throat, chills, and other signs of infection. Unusual bruising or bleeding. Pale skin. Dizziness. Red, scaly patches or pus-filled bumps on the skin. Adults who receive adalimumab injection products may be more likely to develop skin cancer, lymphoma, and other types of cancer than people who do not receive adalimumab injection products. Talk to your doctor about the risks of receiving this medication. 
Adalimumab injection products may cause other side effects. Call your doctor if you have any unusual problems while using this medication. What should I know about storage and disposal of this medication? Keep this medication in the container it came in, tightly closed, and out of reach of children. Store it in the refrigerator and protect it from light. Do not freeze adalimumab injection products. Dispose of any medication that has been frozen. Adalimumab injection products usually may also be stored at room temperature, up to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius, for up to 14 days and protected from light. If these adalimumab injection products are stored at room temperature for more than 14 days and they are not used, they must be disposed. Some adalimumab injection products may be stored at room temperature for longer than 14 days. Talk to your doctor about how to store your medication if you travel. Unneeded medications should be disposed of in special ways to ensure that pets, children, and other people cannot consume them. However, you should not flush this medication down the toilet. Instead, the best way to dispose of your medication is through a medicine take-back program. Talk to your pharmacist or contact your local garbage or recycling department to learn about take-back programs in your community. In case of emergency, overdose. In case of overdose, if the victim has collapsed, had a seizure, has trouble breathing, or can't be awakened, immediately call emergency services at 911. What other information should I know? Keep all appointments with your doctor and the laboratory. Your doctor will order certain lab tests before, during, and after your treatment to check your body's response to adalimumab injection products. Do not let anyone else use your medication. Ask your pharmacist any questions you have about refilling your prescription. It is important for you to keep a written list of all of the prescription and non-prescription, over-the-counter, medicines you are taking, as well as any products such as vitamins, minerals, or other dietary supplements. You should bring this list with you each time you visit a doctor or if you are admitted to a hospital. It is also important information to carry with you in case of emergencies. Brand Names of Adalimumab Injection Abrilida Amgevita Siltizo Hadlima Julio Humira Hirimos Idacio Yusimri.